I probably don't need to tell you this, but you should not look directly at the sun. You can make one of those pinwheel projectors that we all talked about or learned about as kids. There's plenty of tutorials online or you can get these. These are solar shades. Just make sure they're from a reputable manufacturer. There's also another option. You can watch the live stream from the Griffith Observatory. LA is known for stars, but on Saturday, it's the star above that will be turning heads. A partial or annular solar eclipse known as the Ring of Fire is expected to draw viewership Hollywood could only dream of. It's a show, and as the show proceeds, the drama increases. That's why the big draw on Saturday morning won't be this view, but the view of the eclipse at the Griffith Observatory. They're even hosting a viewing party, complete with eclipse-approved glasses that will protect your eyes when gazing at the sun. There's also a ceremony to chase away the dragon mythology in Central Asia says is gobbling up the star as the moon blots out the sun and dims our skies. A bite will appear to be taken out of the sun and at maximum eclipse, that's about 70% of the disk. If you think about the width of the disk, it's about 78% of that diameter. But in prime places like Oregon and slivers throughout the Americas, the moon will block out more of the sun, showing only a ring. Erin Zane and her family are visiting from Portland, but still have eclipse viewing on their sights to see. We just bought our glasses and we're really excited, but we knew that in Oregon we would be able to see it better. Glasses are a must, but there are other safe ways to view the partial eclipse. Maybe you even learned about them in school. To look at the puddles and see the reflection of the sun so that we weren't looking directly at it and watch the eclipse through the reflection in the puddles. And you could see it? I don't remember. <laughs> but the ring of fire promises to be just as memorable as a photo in front of the Hollywood sign. It's amazing yeah. to be here. And Dr. Krupp says that our skies will probably not dim enough for many people to notice that anything has changed. By the way, if you want to come up here to the Griffith Observatory, you do not need tickets, but uh, you will have to either shuttle up or walk up. The partial eclipse starts at 8.08 a.m. At 9.24 is the maximum eclipse, and it'll all be over by 10.50 a.m. And again, this is just a partial eclipse, but on April 8th, they're expecting a full solar eclipse. So you'll want to watch out for that one. Live at the Griffith Observatory, I'm Chris Pajardo. I'll send it back to you.